Hey, shalom, my kings, we're called Makapash and Jim Islam, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chachwadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of Jesus, and shalom out there to the hopeful that pushing the truth and all sincerity. Uh, back again with another video, and this is just uh, something I caught up on on the on the um, on the trains, man. You know, advertisements in the trains, and um, I thought it's funny and ironic. You know, this is uh, HSBC Bank here in the UK, right? And um, you know, it's it's, it's uh, directed that. Um, you know, abuse within a house, right? Probably, you know, more directed towards the women. Domestic abuse, right? Um, and I found it funny, man, because this is what Esau is doing right now to the whole earth, <laughs> right? And this, and it applies. It applies to him right now, right? And, and you, you can see that the, the advertisement here says, when an abuser controls your finances... They control you. Okay. Esau is controlling your finances right now, man. Okay. He's, he's, he's controlling the world right now. All right. And he's about to crash this place. And he knows you're going to have to run to him. Right. When this whole thing goes down. Because you're not going to have any money. All right. These banks. Okay. They're going to they're gonna do their bail-ins. And you ain't going to get no money out of it. Okay. You're going to lose your money. So I just thought it was funny. That they got this here. You know. Aiming at domestic abuse, you know, to 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 these women out here, right? Because of a man, you know, hey, cause it's true, man. When you when you ain't got no access to money, you can't do shit. Okay, you can't do shit. <laughs> okay, it's true. All right, if someone's got your money. You're begging begging that man or you know that person for for money. You know, say man ain't paid you. You need to, you know, you. <laughs> you need money to pay for your shit. You ain't got paid yet. He ain't giving you money. He keeps telling you, oh, no, no. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow. And tomorrow never comes. You know what I mean? And you're just there begging, man. Getting vexed. Getting frustrated. <laughs> well, that's how Esau's got the people. Yeah, that's how he's going to get the people right now, right? You're, you know, the, the inflation. Um, the lack of, um, what do they call that? Pay rises. Right? He's hitting you in your pockets right now. But things are going to go beyond that to the point where, you know, when the system goes down, okay, you're not going to have any money. Okay, you're going to, you're going to get switched over to a new system. Okay, you're going to get switched, switched over to a new system, a new digital system. All right? All this, all this other stuff, man, you know, you can forget about it. Okay, it's going to disappear. Right? And like I said, you, people are going to be frustrated and, and pissed off that they've lost their money. Or the money's not worth anything, all right? But the government, you know, these governments around the world, they're gonna come in with um with a solution for that, okay? And that's gonna be the MLTB, all right? That's you know what they're gonna do, and they're gonna control you, all right? Just like hey, the CBDCs, that's programmable money, or you can probably substitute the word control, controllable money, all right? You can manipulate it to do whatever it is that you want it to do, and it you know, and it don't do Nothing other than what it's programmed to do. Right? That's the sort of system that, you know, is or is being created right now and Issa's gonna put you on. Right? So that he can control you. He's gonna control you with that MOTB. Right? He is the abuser that's that's control that controls the world's finances. Alright? And like I said, it's just funny, man, because underneath it says, economic abuse occurs in 95% of domestic abuse situations. Of All of our branches are safe spaces. Please talk to us if you need help. Okay, but HSBC, they're going to be one of the ones that are going to hold your money. Okay, because they ain't going to get bailed out. The government's ain't going to put money in them to bail them out this time when it, when it goes down. But they're going to bail in. They're going to hold all that money that's in there, man. Okay, you ain't going to be able to do no bank runs. <laughs> you know Your money's going to be stuck in there You know Anyway so this, uh, let's go across some scriptures man Alright This is Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 It says the rich ruleth over the poor And the borrower is servant to the lender Okay we're all slaves in the system Okay we're all born into debt Alright We all work for the system to pay 
you know, money towards that, right? And, you know, additionals to your, you know, all the, all the loans that you may or may not take out, you know, in your lifetime, whether it's, you know, education or, or cars, house, mortgages, you know, stuff like that. Okay, you're you're already a slave to, to that, you know, the rich have power over you. Okay, these elites have power over the earth. Okay, they're the richest, they're the most powerful. All right. So you're, you're a servant to, to their system. This is James 2 and 6. Is, but you have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you. Okay, the, the rich, they make all the rules, you know, or the laws that come into effect. They, they you know, they give, they give the nod. You know, they might not necessarily be in particular positions to do so but guess what no, no you know nothing gets passed if people you know <laughs> if you don't want money uh coming your way all right there's a, there's a quote i think it's by some type of rough child i think might be somebody else but he, you know he basically said i care not you know, give me give me control of the world's money and i care not who makes the laws because he who has sway and influence of a people <laughs> through money because you know everyone's working for that dollar right or whatever okay they're going to be they can be bought Okay, they can be manipulated, right? And you know, certain things won't pass if they don't want it to get passed through. They won't get the funding, they won't get the sponsorship. Okay, so on and so forth. <laughs> you won't have a job. <laughs> you know, you won't be working there for much longer. And, and it'll be, you know, revoked or whatever. Alright, says, so, but you have despised the poor, do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats. Okay, the rich they oppress, the elites oppress. Okay, oppress the earth. Okay, it's why. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer, man. And it's, and it's always been that way. Okay, and, and it's getting even worse. Right? And you, you, would, you would think that it would, um, you know, be living up, you know? But it's not. This is Sirach chapter 13, verse 19. It says, As the wild ass is the lion's prey in the wilderness, so the rich eat up the poor. Right? So the proud hate humility, so doth the rich abhor the poor. Alright, so they don't give a damn. You know, these elites, man, they got their agenda, right? And we know what the agenda is, you know, but these simpletons out here, they don't really get what's going on. Alright, they don't understand that they were about to be, um, you know, put in a, a cage, you know. Be put in a situation where they can't escape. Right, and that everything that's happening right now is not coincidental, it's not, you know, it's not unplanned. Okay, let's put it that way, right? And it's all happening for the reason of, you know, shutting down this kingdom, you know, this, this system. To replace it with a new one, okay, the NWO, right? And have you, you know, um, hooked up into that system, okay, with the MOTB. Okay, where Esau is gonna exert his control over you, right? By you know creating these um, these uh, you know crises, man. Okay, this chaos. Okay, order at chaos. All right. It's Habakkuk two and five says, uh, "Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desires hell and is as deaf." And cannot be satisfied, right? Esau is going to drain everybody dry. He's going to take everything from everybody. You know, you will have nothing, as that saying goes, and uh, and and be happy, right? That's <laughs> that's their motto right now, right? So they they plan on, on draining everybody dry. Everyone's going to lose everything: houses, cars, you know, financial security, you know, your bank accounts or whatever, you know, your your cash. Right, it's all gonna go, okay, and you're gonna be, you know, dependent on, you know, Esau's new system that he's gonna offer you, right? And, but like I say, it's gonna come in the form of the MOTB, which, if you believe in these scriptures, okay, is something that we're not supposed to take, right? And and this is where, you know, people's faith faith is gonna be tested. Okay, the hour of temptation, as the scripture calls it, right? And we're going to see, you know, what you believe in, man, and what, you, what you're really about. 
you know because Esau's going to put us in a a, a mighty precarious situation man <clears throat> life and death shit right but you're going to have to hold strong those of us that are in this favor have to hold strong okay and believe that Yahweh Shemir al is going to provide and, and, and deliver us okay from that said time all right So, just going back to this image, right? Just to show you again, right? When an abuser controls your finances, they control you. And like I said, that's what Esau's planning to do to the people, right? And here, Revelations 13 and 16 says, uh, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That sounds like control to me. Okay, you can't do, do a thing unless you have this thing like unless you have the MOTB right you can't buy you can't sell guess what but it does more you can't go to certain places you know your privacy you know is, is, is gone <laughs> right completely gone you know Esau knows what you're doing even when you're inside your own house you know Alexa Alexa snitching on you and shit <laughs> You know, but you know, the, your your um, RFID will be co constantly communicating with devices around you on the street in your house. You know, always communicating, and, and the AIs are keeping track. So you, your whole privacy is gone, man, and it, it knows way too more, too way too much about it than it should do, <laughs> right? Any normal person, you know. But um, Esau wants to know everything. You know, he knows he wants to know what you ate for breakfast, how much energy that consumes. <laughs> You know, you know he's gonna make you an, an efficient tool, and, and you know, as long as he deems fit before he destroys you, you know. But you know, Esau is gaining control over us. This is what he's doing. Okay, he's causing these these situations to gain further control over the earth, right? To the point where you're gonna you're gonna beg him for food and water and all these types of things. All right. Because that's, that's the thing right now, the, the, the food issue. Okay, the famines that are on the way. All these all these, these um, plots of land, farmland that is, that's going up in flames and, you know, these factories and whatever. Okay, adding, adding more and more pressure on, on, on the food supply. Right, it's not, it's, not all, it's not coincidental, man. It's all part of prophecy and, you know, it's all, it's all planned, you know, he needs to have having these things going on, right? So he can bring you to your knees, and you can bend down and say, "Please, master, please, master, feed us, water us." <laughs> well, I am benevolent. You just take this uh, MOTB, and <laughs> I shall provide. You know, and that's what it's gonna kind of turn into, man. You know, he's still gonna act like you're the hero of the story, but he's the villain. He set up all this bullshit. And he, he, he got you run into him. But anyway, we read this. This is the Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, right? And Esau is the wicked, right? He can't be trusted by nobody. He is everybody's enemy. Okay, but none more so than Israel. Okay, you Negroes experience Native Americans, man. Uh, 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 descendants scattered abroad, man. He is, he is our mortal enemy, right? We can't trust him. Okay, I know that the asshole, General Yana. He's, you know, he basically said, you can trust him. <laughs> he, 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 was, he was advocating taking the, um, the devil serum, you know. He's advocating that. You know, and he probably advocates... Well, no, we know he advocates. He advocates, you know, taking the MLTB. You know, he don't believe it's the RFID, but, you know, he, he's saying, you know, it's all right to take. So we're going to see where he's actually going to end up. Anyway, right, this is verse 11. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching... Yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have all not all been to, not been altogether wiped away. Okay, Esau hasn't changed. He hasn't turned over no no, no new leaves, right? He's always been the hateful a hateful devil, man, and that hasn't changed, man. He just hide he just hides it better. <laughs> That's it. You know why he's putting a scheme on you behind the scenes. All right. So set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. 
and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such come as come nigh wild beast? Because you know the nature of them. Like if you get bit by a serpent, you 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 expect that. Like you expect that the serpent is gonna bite you, man. If you're playing around with snakes, you expect the snake is gonna bite you at some point. You know, and it's the same with this, this, this devil, with the Esau, with the wicked. Like you expect, you should be expecting that he's gonna turn around and bite your ass, man, at some point. You know. All that we've been going through, you know, it's, it's all act. He's acting like he's everybody's friend and he's trying to help everybody. He cares about you and all this. He don't, he still don't care about nobody, man. Nobody, especially not us. These so called white people do not care about us one little bit. All right? So don't be surprised. Like we keep telling you, man, the devil's going to show his horns, man. Don't be surprised when, when you know, if shit goes wrong, man. You're going you're gonna to find out what these guys are really about. Okay, but you were warned, you know, you were warned, right, it's the nature of the beast, right, it's the nature of the, of the wicked, it's the nature of Esau, it's the devil, right, but anyway, this is um, verse 14, says, so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, he will pity, and for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee in a pit, again, it's just an act, Okay, so it's a false pretense that he, he's giving off, man. All right? All the meanwhile, he's planning your demise. Planning everybody's demise, man. Okay? So he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportun opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. And that's what he's doing. He's undermining the people. Right? Leading him, you know, into this trap. Into this snare Okay and he's going to trap the people man And you know Gain control over them like like you know Like we was reading right Okay with this uh, MOTB Alright Verse 18 said he will shake his head And clap his hands and whisper much And change his countenance Okay let's say you're going to see what Esau is really about You know <laughs> You ain't that nice guy man but you know, a lot of people are going to side with him anyway because they don't believe. They don't believe in these scriptures. They don't believe in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, so they're going to turn to him anyway because th there is no choice. There's no no per perceivable choice for them. It's either they, they side with Esau and take his mark or, and whatever, or they perish. You know, that would be the options, man. And, and these people, they're not going to want to perish. They, they ain't going to want to starve to death and whatever. So they're going to take whatever Esau's offering them. Right, but he, like I said, he's in control. He's in control. You're fine. He, he control all, all that moves. Right. So once he crashes the system, man, then you ain't got nowhere to go to but to him and and do what he, you know, is telling you to do in order to be a part of the new system. You know, because he is an abuser. He abusing everything. He abusing the earth. Abusing the people. Everything. All right. And most are gonna take his ass out, man. Alright, so, you know, that's all, that's all i got, man. So, Lord of Witness was edifying. And I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on our next video, man. So, till next time, I'll say shalom.